Hey, what's good everybody? In this video, I'll show you five advanced tips for quick hacking in Cyberpunk. Now, the first two tips you may already know if you played the game, but the other ones are super useful and actually quite hidden in the game because, well, it doesn't tell you about them, so there still may be something new for you in this video. Although, if you're new to the game, then listen closely because if you're into quick hacking, these things will help you a ton. Alright, so let's get this popping, baby. First tip is going to be about legendary quick hacks, and they are the most powerful ones in the game. Not only only because they do a lot of damage but mostly thanks to their passive effects which sometimes stack with the other quick hacks and sometimes even with your weapons like the short circuit passive effect so if you're into quick hacking you want to get those as fast as you can and so it happens, you can get it pretty early. And by early, I mean almost immediately after you finish the prologue. So listen up. First, you need to make sure that you did not finish the quest called the gift that you get from T-Bug in the beginning of the game. Because unfortunately, this bugs out this method completely. So you're not going to be able to get those legendary quick hacks that way. If you haven't done that quest though, you're all good. And here are the things you're going to need for this method. First, you want to get the Datamind Virtuoso perk in the Intelligence Tree. I would also highly recommend installing projectile launch system with a tranquil round you can get them right here at this guy and also a thing that will help you out with it is getting optical camo and that's it so the place where you can get those quick hacks is actually located in the city center right here to unlock this gig you need to do one other gig for dino but don't worry if you got double jump it's incredibly easy you need to get into the club and steal data there is actually a balcony behind the club which allows you to get in there easily and that's it so once you finish this one it unlocks the gig in the city center so once once you get to the gig, you need to know that there are six access points in that area from which you can loot legendary quick hacks. Most of them are inside the mission compound and one is outside right here. And actually, fun fact, two of the access points outside the mission area are available to you without unlocking this mission. So to get to the access point over here and the one over here, you don't need to unlock this mission. But anyways, the technique to get those legendary quick hacks will be quick saving before accessing the access point doing the breach protocol and then you can check on the left or in your inventory what quick hack you dropped and if you're happy with the quick hack that dropped you just head to the next access point but if you're not happy with it you just reload the save and you do the same thing with the other access points until you're decked out with all the legendary quick hacks that you need simple as that and also enemies on this gig are super high level but that's why you get the projectile launch system with a tranquil round this will knock them out in one tap okay i think that was the longest tip of the whole list but here we go to the next one tip number two is about the order of your quick hacks not everybody knows this but you can actually choose what order you want your quick hacks to show up in the quick hacking menu the only thing you need to know that the last quick hack that you equip will appear from the very top so for example if you equip short circuit as the last quick hack it will appear on the very top of the list just after breach protocol next tip is about how to insta quick hack enemies so in the comments under my videos i often get asked by people how do i get to quick hack enemies almost instantly without even opening the quick hack menu if you encounter a group of enemies and breach protocol then the breach protocol quick hack on the quick hack list goes to the bottom leaving the quick hack that you have the right below breach protocol on the very top then if you want to use a quick hack on an enemy from that group, then after you open the quick hacking menu, the first quick hack that will be automatically chosen is the one that was just underneath breach protocol. This time it will be on the very very top of the list. That way you can just upload it right after opening the menu and then closing the menu. So it looks like this. Kinda cool right? The next fourth tip is going to be about cameras which are often very very annoying. There is a perk that is actually quite useful called the big sleep in the intelligence tree that you can get. Although the thing that sucks about it is that if the cameras are turned off enemies can turn them back on when they get close to it there is a workaround for this though if you turn cameras to friendly mode enemies can't turn them back on and they won't spot you which is kind of nice and about this i actually found out just recently during my streams in march so big thank you to the user sacramas who let me know in the chat about this because that helped me out a ton and the fifth tip is very very useful against boss fights whether they're cyber psychos or or bosses from the story mode or whatever if you want to quickly and efficiently deal with any of the bosses in cyberpunk then listen up there is a quick hack that gives you a free stealth takedown on each boss 
just like that and it's called memory wipe the highest priority of this quick hack is blue and you can get it right here then after you encounter any boss in cyberpunk you just upload the quick hack and stealth take down the boss and that's basically it and just so you know some of the bosses require two or even three stealth takedowns so it's kind of worth to keep that optical camo just in case and bonus tip baby if you max out perks called plague diffusion and signal support in the intelligence tree and if you put sonic shock contagion and cripple movement into your cyber deck then if you upload the cripple movement quick hack onto one enemy it will basically spread to everybody in the enemy group immobilizing them and being unable to spot you for quite a lot of time so yeah that's quite op so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to leave a like and subscribe and yeah leave a comment if you want that helps me out a lot and also if you are on pc i'll leave some interesting mods for quick hacking in the description but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you later see ya